Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'll be explaining how to install a compression valve or compression fitting. Compression fittings are user-friendly, easy to install, and have many purposes. These fittings aren't normally used in new constructions, but rather renovation projects. Compression fittings are ingenious because you could use them in places where welding isn't an option. Also, compression fittings can be used on leaky pipes, such as a broken water line in an emergency situation. With all of that said, let me show you how to properly install a compression valve. Alright, so these fittings are composed of three parts. The valve in this case, a sleeve, and a retainer nut. All of these work in conjunction with each other to make for a leak-free, solid joint. You'll be needing some tools and materials to install these the correct way. Starting with either two open-end wrenches the size of the retainer nut or two adjustable wrenches. And I always like to install a bit of pipe dope to lubricate and seal my connection, so for this, I'll be using my trusty can of pipe dope. So the first thing to do is to ensure that your pipe is free of any kinks, debris or just plain old dirt. So get yourself a clean paper towel or rag and clean it off as best as you could. Sometimes, copper pipes have stickers on them that can get kind of hard to remove, so here's a cool trick to get them off in no time. Grab your plumber's torch and heat the sticker thoroughly for a couple of seconds. Then, apply a bit of flux on it. It'll disappear with a couple of strokes. Make sure to wipe off any excess flux or it'll eat up your pipe. If you do, however, have a kink in your pipe, cut it a couple of inches before or else you run the chances of having a leaky joint. Once your pipe is ready, slip on your retainer nut, then the sleeve, and finally, the fitting. The trick to not getting any leaks with these fittings is to ensure the proper penetration. And I'll get back with another trick to ensure this in just a second. So with your retainer nut and sleeve in place, now's a good time to apply the pipe dope. Only a small amount is required for it to do its job. The only thing left to do is to tighten the retainer nut. To ensure that the fitting is properly seated, what I like to do is to tighten it ever so slightly, then hit the back of the fitting to ensure that it's seated properly. As opposed to hitting it without tightening it, it would bounce back and not seat properly. Once that's done, go ahead and start tightening it. Your cue for knowing when they're tight enough is when you start to hear a squeaking noise as you're tightening. This is caused by the rotational friction between all the parts inside. And that's how to install a leak-free compression fitting. At the beginning of the video, I said how this could be installed on leaky water lines in emergency situations, so I'd like to show you how it could be done. I installed a drain cock at the end of my setup and hooked up a garden hose for educational purposes. I do suggest having a set of dry clothes with you nearby before attempting this. If you like these videos, I invite you to subscribe and get notified of my upcoming videos by clicking the bell icon next to the subscribe button. Also, feel free to share these videos with your friends by hitting the share button below. And until the next time, thanks for watching.